name is Clyde Walford. I'm a tight end at the University of Miami. Before I became a football player, I was a basketball player. I grew up in a city called South Bay. Every day after school, I would go home, change my clothes, and grab a basketball and go to the court and just shoot around. We all have something in our lives that when we have a lot of things going on, we have a lot of things on our mind, we all have that place. We all have that something that we like, you know, to do to help remove ourselves away from everything and think. For Clive, it's shooting the basketball. The reason I love to play basketball is because it's so relaxing and joyful. Coming up, that's all I really knew, you know. And I just kind of like stimulated my mind, especially when I was by myself just shooting, clearing my head and things like that. I didn't actually start playing organized football until my senior high school. I gave up basketball because I know football would create more open doors for me. I started my career at the University of Miami as a receiving tight end. Tight end! I can actually catch the ball and run very well, but it was always like a burden on my shoulder to become a good blocker. Early in his career, Clive was athletic. He had good hands. He kind of saw himself perhaps as a pass receiver. And I think what's made the biggest difference in Clive's game is his commitment to doing the things that didn't come natural to him in the beginning. His background being basketball, which was totally, you know, offset from being a football player, he really had to work overtime. It's all about footwork. It's all about pad level. It's all about hand placement. It's all about your eyes. Where's my hat placement? You know, all of those little, little bitty detail things that take a lot of hard work and a lot of rep. That's it. Every time. Muscle memory. I'm always open to learning new things um, because it can only benefit you. And you notice the progression that it's actually having on your game. Clyde Wolford, touchdown! Touchdown Miami! This past season, Clyde was second on the team in reception. And I think it's a result of him really buying into being a complete tight end. Touchdown, Clive Wolford! You don't have to take Clive out of the game. Clive can play in the short yardage. Clive can play in the goal line. Clive can play on first and second down. Here comes a blitz. Morris throws. It is caught by Wolford. Clive can also be a guy who can get vertical for you on third down. Oh, what a catch by Clive Wolford at the 40. In that sense, Clive is multifaceted, and he's developed a skill set in every one of those areas that, that make him invaluable to our offense. It's very simply. Coach Scott and Coach Golden, they're great coaches, I would say. They're just somebody I look up to, and I appreciate what they bring to the table because they're coaching in my ability. You combine that, and you have a great force. Clive is one of those guys that, you know, he's got a heart full of gratitude. He really does. He's grateful to everybody here at the University of Miami and how they impact his life. Parts of the reason well, I'm so open to new advice is because I'm very grateful. If I wasn't very grateful, then I wouldn't probably be open to new advice. I am going to hold you accountable. That's the way I was raised, and that's the way I was taught. I'm also grateful for my son, my mom. I'm grateful for the air that I'm breathing right now. Grateful for the Lord. This opportunity to actually be sitting in this chair talking to you, playing at the University of Miami, one of the finer colleges. Let's have a good day. Let's make sure you get a good break. Let's go out and get something done. Just grateful, man. Very grateful. You know, the details. Clive, you know, he shows his gratitude in, in a lot of different ways. One, two, three. Turn you. It comes across in the way you see him interact with some of his teammates. You know, he's, he's always trying to reach out and, and trying to help those guys. We're going to continue to push him to make him the best, you know, student and, and athlete and father and person he can be but he is just a lot of fun to work with right now. And uh, again, those are the things that allow him to, to move forward as a player. I committed myself to doing things that wasn't very comfortable with me, so it will benefit me in the long run. My son pushes me to continue to go. My mom pushes me to continue to go. I feel like it all ties into the same thing with like working on your craft. Like taking hard shots, 
At first, you kind of miss them. But as you continue to work on it, you start to make those shots. And it helps build your confidence. So you start to believe in yourself. And then you start doing things you never thought you could do. And it all works out.